Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how you can mirror your iOS device such as this iPad to an LG TV. So as of around about 2019, the newer LG TVs do allow you to do airplay between iOS and the TV itself and it works pretty good. So let me show you how to set it up. So if we were to get the remote control for the TV and press the home button and if we were to go down to this icon here which says home dashboard you can see we now have an option for AirPlay up here. And if we click on it, it tells us that make sure that your Mac or iOS device is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as this TV. And also it tells us the name of the TV that we need to look for. Because obviously you want to connect to your TV and not one from your neighbors. So on your iOS device, for example, this iPad, we're going to be scrolling down here and we have an option for screen mirroring. I'm going to tap that and it's going to come up with my TV. I'm going to tap that there, and the very first time we do it, it's going to ask me to enter in the code. So that's what I'm going to do, 4911. And now I'm just going to go to OK. And there you go, you can see now it is already mirrored. So just tap somewhere else on the screen, and look how responsive it is. And believe it or not, it's responsive enough that you can actually play some basic games on it. So for example, if I was to go to Hill Climb, check this out. Sound as well is uh, beamed across. So if you look here, let's get them both in so you can see. Even if I just watch the TV, it's fully playable. Yeah. Now, for example, if you wanted to go to the internet or something, again, it's absolutely fine. Or if you wanted to share your photos. So you can see there, it looks nice when we're up on the big screen. Now, how about if you want to play a game using a controller? Well, that's possible as well. So let's go into Lego. And if I get my Steel Series Nimbus controller here, you can now see I can have the iPad down to the side and I can use it more like a console. And again, it is responsive. It's surprisingly responsive. There we go. And then to finish, All we have to do is go to up here again, scroll down and just tap on this here and then go to stop mirroring. And that's it, we're back to normal. Now if you want to start mirroring again, it's really easy, we don't even have to put the code the next time. We just tap that, tap that and straight away it will start mirroring. But if you want, you can set up your TV to do things like for example password or you can enter in uh, a pin number every single time of doing it. So if you go here and if you were just to go to AirPlay and Home Kit Settings and enter into that, you can see here under Require Code, we can do it first time only every time or use password instead. And we can also reset paired devices if, for example, you sell your phone or your iPad and you then want to set up a new phone. So uh, that is it. Really simple, easy thing to do. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.